Okay, researchers out there, we're going to have a look at how do you set up a table for responding to reviewers. So we've got these comments here. Yes, it's a rejection. We normally get rejections, but let's look at the solution. The solution is we want to get an acceptance. So first of all, we've got to help our brains, and that's the most important thing. So we've got to start off by categorizing what the reviewers have said into sections. Then by breaking it down, you can have a better idea of uh, where you can start, what you can change, and what you cannot change. And so what I'm doing here is adding in a table. And we want to create a simple table like this. And the reason why we're doing this in here and not Excel is that at the end of the day, the response to review is going to be in Word document. So I like to work in Word document and work in tables. So why not start in Word to begin with? So what we want to do here is we want to get the table ready. So let's uh, move this across here. And we want to create a nice wide column here. And then we can start putting the different comments into the tables as so. And the important thing is to break the comments down. And then it gives you a chance for your brain to absorb what the reviewers are telling you. Because English is not an efficient language when it comes to communicating. No, it isn't. So we need to break it down for the brain and try and get it into chunks. And when you do that, then it's likely to help you think about what are you going to say. So here, the reviewers given an overall review saying the paper is weak in theoretical and empirical and then there's a new part in general terms a reference to literature so I have referred to some literature and so here is a chance for me to refer to the literature so I need to look at the literature that the reviewer has asked me to look at now here are uh, to do with concepts that I haven't made clear. So I need to make them clear, but also refer to literature in the process of making the concepts clear. And so again, there's referring to a particular concept about vertical integration. And so now I need to talk about vertical integration and make that Clear. What is that concept? And now what about behavioral mechanisms and the role of informal ones? And so let's just have a look about behavioral control mechanisms. And so again, <coughs> there's a bit of vagueness in what I have used. In terms of this concept. And I cannot spell, so I will. The reviewer can't spell either, but it doesn't matter. All right, seems to be key. Obviously, the reviewer was a bit rushed in putting this one together. Obviously, there's a lot of spelling errors. Okay, but that's pretty good. Now, the empirical part. So now we get this is the conceptual side and now the reviewer has some empirical questions. So here I can actually break this down into here we're going to look at uh, theoretical and here I can say empirical. And so that gives me another way of compartmentalizing my review into theoretical and empirical. And so that takes me to the end of review one. So then I do control enter. And now I can go to the top of the next table because reviewer one, we can highlight that with a nice, maybe a nice color. We can make that uh, yellow. And now we're going to have reviewer two. So it is, let's have a look, let's just put that at the top, opening statement. It is interesting study potential contribute, however work is required. So 
this is a very positive comment that the reviewer is starting with. And I like this reviewer has put things into numbers. So the other reviewer did not. The other reviewer put it into theoretical and empirical. But right now I'll put this into numbers and I might break it up. So at this stage, I'm just going to quickly paste them into every second row. And remember, what I'm doing here is just organizing the reviewer's comments. It's not, I'm not at a stage where I'm responding to the reviewer's comments. I'm just starting to get organized. And there's always something you do immediately, especially in that 30 days in which you are angry about the reviewer's comments and what they have said and told you how this is the worst paper in the world and you thought it was the best paper in the world. Well, reality bites sometimes. Not that I think this way, but I'm very positive and proactive. The only thing that I feel that I can do is writing and typing. Bums on seats. So now I've got the second reviewer's comments organized in the table and so we're looking at we're just going through reviewer two. Let me make that green because this reviewer seemed to be more positive. Uh, look, that just helped my brain to think in that way. Okay, so he's got a concept of vertical integration. So again, vertical integration is a, is something that I need to address. The current version conceptual distinction between cost management, and performance management. So cost and performance management. I need to make that clear. What do I mean? Again, conceptually, again, the sufficient differentiation between market-based power and market control. Market power and market control. Maybe I'm using the wrong term, so I need to think about that. I struggle to understand between the link between Benzo's framework. So that was a framework. So I might need, this is a long paragraph here, so I might need to break it up and maybe try and compartmentalize it again. So I understand the link between Ben's up front in developing the argument of the paper operation in the empirical sections that are blah, blah, blah. Okay, we are break that down. For example, in the, I see that empirical material labels are not used as outcomes. In the current version, this is the reviewer's point. For example, da, 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 da. On the basis of this, all right, so basically this is more empirical. So what I'm going to do here is put down empirical, okay? So the first part is more theoretical. And so we're going to put a break here and we're going to look at theoretical there. And so now I'm breaking down some of the comments of reviewer two. On the basis, USB-C is labeled a captive buyer. Okay, so we're gonna break that in. Indeed, let's just break it down a little bit. You can't just have a long paragraph like that. There's an indication, multi-source. I might need to break this down into parts because this is an example of the reviewer making a case for what the reviewer wants to say here. And then there's making a case here. So I need to think about Ben, Ben say O's framework and I think we can make that clear. It's all about communication out there guys, girls. If you want to publish you've just got to get the communication right. There's nothing wrong with your field work. They're not, the reviewers are not criticizing all the field work I did. They're just criticizing mainly how I'm conceptualizing, how I'm organizing the communication of what I did and that's the key distinction you need to think about here. And, you know, it's up to me to make clearer what I'm trying to say. So, captive buyer, indeed, there are indications in the paper that USB use multi sourcing that can enable them to switch them, enable them, okay, to switch between blah, 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 blah. So, it makes me wonder when the relationship is type 1 and type 2. There are similar situations 
with the characterization. Okay, so therefore these are examples of the problems of Benzo's framework. So what I'm going to do here is copy and then we're going to paste that here. All right, case three is interesting. Wow, this reviewer likes M O B D. Maybe I'll just write a case on that on its own. The conclusions to insisting make reference to how the use of cost again. Okay, so cost management and performance management. All right, so again, reviewer one made a comment on that. So reviewer two has made a comment. So there's a bit of consistency there that I need to deal with. See, cost management and performance management are mentioned here by reviewer one. And so both reviewers are criticizing the same thing. So I've got some work to do here. Most of the propositions are made at the back end. That so it lacked tension possible. I may not agree with that, but give myself time. I can think about what the reviewer is trying to say. Propositions for no reason to present it earlier. Okay, so let's just put that propositions four and five bear no resident material earlier. Okay, that's a very good point here. Let me draw that out because especially vertical integration, I need to make it very clear throughout the paper, not just at the beginning and the end, which the reviewer is saying what I'm doing. Hmm, okay because C reviewer one looked at vertical integration, reviewer two looked at vertical integration. So they're both, so what we can see now from, and now let me put this into one page so you can see what is going on here, okay? So reviewer one is, there's a literature problem here. So maybe we give literature, uh, maybe let's give literature a, Yellow, okay, now again, we've got concepts, yellow, vertical integration, it's how I'm describing that throughout, let's give that a, a blue, okay, and again, vertical integration is something I need to think about, and that's the blue. Now, behavioral control, what do we mean by that? We That's conceptual, so we're going to give that green, and again, market power, market control, that's also green. Cost and performance management, how I'm explaining that, was commented by both reviewers. So now we can give them both green. And you can see here that there's a bit of overlap with what the reviewers are saying. And so this makes a lot of sense. And then we've got Ben Sowers framework, which we might put down to its theoretical. So we need to think about that. So I guess the greens, let's give a green to the concepts. In other words, how we are explaining them. And the blue is the framework that I'm using explaining. That's an organizing conceptual framework I'm using. And again, vertical integration here is the concept again. So, and we've got literature, the concept's not clear. So yeah, anyway, this is my first pass at what the reviewers are saying. And as you can see, I need to, well, let's put this out gray, put that one here, to, uh, because to do with empirical directly. This cost and performance management, well, I need to think about how this is related to in the Empirical, whereas this cost and performance management here is to do with the conceptual distinction and here conceptual. So we've got some empirical, we've got conceptual, we've got literature, and again the blue is conceptual here. So there you have it. There's my first pass. I've just spent 10 minutes here just to put together what the reviewers are trying to tell me. And all in all, I can see that we can go through the paper now with a clearer head to think about where all these problems are. And so and then I can come back to this framework and start to think about, well, how am I addressing all of these comments as they have been written? Because even if I send it to another journal, it would still be good to satisfy myself that these comments have been addressed. So there you have it.